Sick Girl's Bucket List launches one of the biggest investigations cops have seen in years. In a world where sick children aren't a rare sight, it's comforting to know that there are still people willing to go above and beyond to make their final days special. We'd all like to believe that our donations are being put to good use. Yet, there are those looking to take advantage of a little goodwill. Those supporting one sick Colorado girl soon discovered that even those in need are capable of doing despicable things. But make no mistake, Olivia Gant wasn't an ordinary, healthy child. At the age of two, she was diagnosed with autism, and throughout early childhood, she suffered from constipation, feeding intolerance, and seizures. She received intense treatment as a result, including an ostomy bag and feeding tubes. Things only seemed to have gotten worse as she grew, as according to her mother, Kelly Turner, Olivia had developed more than a dozen ailments by the time she was four. With the hospital bills piling up, Turner began reaching out to collect financial support for her ailing child. She created a blog to chronicle Olivia's treatment and progress, and in June 2015, a benefit was held to raise money for future procedures. As Olivia's story spread through her Colorado hometown, more and more people came out in support of the little girl. Food drives, bake sales, and dozens of other fundraisers served to provide Turner with plenty of money for Olivia's care. Other events were held as part of a bucket list for Olivia, giving her a chance to live out her dreams while she still could. The local police took her on ride-alongs, and the fire department actually let her put out controlled fires. Make-A-Wish Colorado even got involved, setting up an entire day of fun and adventure for the little girl. With the help of hundreds of volunteers, Olivia became Bat Princess and fought crime all over town. But even with this outpouring of love and support, Olivia's condition continued to decline. Her once bright smile began to fade as the weight of endless treatments began to weigh on her, and things soon took a turn for the worst. She's in intestinal failure, and we don't know how much longer she has, Turner told reporters in the summer of 2017. Sadly, that time came much sooner than expected. Olivia passed away on August 20, 2017. She was just seven years old. Her funeral service and burial were entirely paid for through donations to help ease the burden on her family, though Turner didn't have much time to grieve. Shortly after Olivia's death, Turner revealed that her eldest daughter was also suffering from a long list of ailments, including cancer. But after bringing her to an oncologist, doctors noticed something was off. The eldest daughter had no signs or symptoms of cancer. Her tests showed she was a totally healthy little girl. Turner, however, insisted she was sick and demanded a wide range of treatments. Unable to shake the unusual request, doctors got child services involved. They too were suspicious of Turner, and so they decided to separate her from her daughter to see if it had any effect on the child's condition. Sure enough, the little girl had no complaints of pain or of the ailments her mother had insisted she was suffering from. This was a major red flag for the caseworker, who prompted investigators to look into the medical history of another child, Olivia. After exhuming the child's body, Officials discovered that there was no indication that Olivia had died of intestinal failure. In fact, there was no evidence that she had suffered from any of the ailments Turner claimed she had. As investigators began digging, they found out that nearly all of the doctors had been conflicted over the child's care. They claimed her condition didn't warrant the level of extreme treatment she received, though at the insistence of Turner, they eventually obliged. Even more disturbing was the fact that Turner continually went against doctor's orders. She'd insisted the child take seizure medication despite not having seizures, forced her to use a feeding tube, and demanded a do-not-resuscitate order despite Olivia not being terminally ill. There is a concern that Turner has lied about the children's medical conditions and therefore may have caused harm to the children and or caused them to have significant medical procedures in an indictment to investigators. Turner was subsequently arrested in October 2019 and interrogated over her role in her daughter's death. She denied outright that she purposely tried to harm Olivia, though, unprompted, she also denied suffering from Munchausen syndrome by proxy.
This mental health disorder is brought about when a caregiver purposely causes or fabricates harm to those in their care for social or monetary gain. Turner could deny it all she wanted, but the evidence was there. She'd killed Olivia and was now trying to do it again. But she wouldn't get away with it this time, as Turner was found guilty of the accusations and charged with 11 felonies, including first-degree murder. She'll likely spend the rest of her days behind bars, unable to harm anyone ever again. Luckily for Turner's eldest daughter, doctors caught on to her mother's scheme before it was too late. It was a black spot for Olivia's doctors and the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but they vowed to do better.